Oh, hi, Capricorn Sun. Gemini Moons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments, so make sure you check out, put up your requests, and check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. First portion of this reading will be the, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where you'll have a deeper interpretation of your cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's get to your Sun Moon combination. So I was thinking with your combination, it's like, have you ever heard the expression, hurry up and wait? <laughs> this, this is your duality. I'm sure you guys can certainly relate to that because you want things to happen really fast, but then you have to wait and have patience for them. And you don't have the patience for them. So you guys definitely think a lot. There, you definitely have a lot of interest. You always like to try out new theories, um, always have new ideas running through that head of yours. And you want to put a lot of these ideas into motion. Um, it's something you have a strong, strong desire to do. Um, you do like to advance in the world and have status. And you're very able to do that. You know how to plan. Um, so nobody will get in your way. So you can advance if you plan. Sometimes it's hard for you guys to slow your mind down or slow things down to where you can actually plan. You love learning new things. On the outside, you're very calm. You're very traditional. On the inside, a little bit nervous, um, a little bit agitated. You're very versatile. You're very lively, very uh, unpredictable sometimes. Um, you have frequent changes, but you're always aware of what's going on in your own mind. You do tend to be a wanderer because you like variety, you like innovation. Even though you have old values and you stick to tradition, you're always looking for new ways to do things and new ways of thinking of things. You guys can't sit still for very long. You're always restless and this kind of keeps you on the move. Not good at concentrating. You find it really hard to focus on goals, focus on um, you know, your abilities. And, you know, in 2020, you should try to kind of calm your mind, come up with, um, kind of steady yourself and direct yourself in one direction or direct, you know, because you're super bright and you're super smart. So, you know, direct that in a direction that's going to work for you and be productive. Um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, you get very, very, very confused when you come upon like a situation that's really emotional and you tend to just kind of like over overthink it or explain it out of your way it's okay to allow yourself to be influenced by passion once in a while you all are very hard workers be careful that your work doesn't become your life it doesn't become the main priority you need to do other things you have a hard time deciding where you stand because you're you have very diverse interests so you're pretty much open to anything my advice for you in 2020 would be to kind of um kind of narrow things down when it comes to what you want to do so that's the only way you're going to be able to make things happen or achieve success or go where you want to where you want to go another problem you guys have and i was this is what i was talking oh, about card of capricorn um another thing i was talking about is slowing your mind down you need to slow things down you do things too quickly and this ends up being a big issue for you and causes problems for you um another thing is that you'll get something done and then you'll be like well okay where's my reward where's my thank yous where's my pat on the back where's my bonus where's my you don't you don't like to wait for that you like instant gratification you like to be instantly satisfied and when you work really hard you want to be rewarded for it immediately you don't want to wait for that um so like i said you guys are a combination of hurry up and wait um because you always want to hurry up you know to where you want to go and sometimes you'll even like assign things to other people. So you delegate responsibilities to other people so that you can kind of, you know, hurry up on where you want to go. Um, you all can also be very detached and a little bit cool at times. Alrighty. So let's see what's going on for your 2020. Holy Spirit, angels, my guys, universe, can you find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons. I'm surprised. They, they said you guys are patient. I mean... You're number 123 out of 144 readings, so I don't think you're all that impatient. That was a lot of patience to wait to, to wait for number 123. Could you please arrive your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Capricorn Sun, Gemini Moons 
for the year 2020, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine for their greater good? Any messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moon would be greatly appreciated for 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages, please? What do you see for January, February, and March for Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons? What do you see? Capricorn, Sun, Gemini, Moons. Sun card in reverse. If this resonates with you, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can go ahead and work that out. Okay. For April, May, June, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Magician in reverse in the upright and we have the Tower card in the reverse. Ask me a question on Instinko. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe. Six of Pentacles in reverse for July, August, September. Okay, so the video gave out on me before I knew what was going on. Um, so let me just show you here. We have uh, the, so I'm sorry, April, May, June, we have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Magician in the Upright, and the Tower card in reverse. July, August, September, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And then October, November, December, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse, okay? So we start off the year with the Sun card in reverse. Um, there's something kind of bothering you, okay? You feel like things could be a whole lot better, okay? Um, things are good. They're okay. It's a temporary influence. It's going to pass. Um, but you kind of are having to remind yourself to be optimistic. You're trying to remind yourself to, you know, have fun. Some of you might be sad. Some of you might be a little bit depressed. Um, you know, having a hard time finding positivity and things. So it's just kind of this black cloud or this gray cloud that's kind of looming over you where you just know things could be significantly better. I don't know what that's in relation to because obviously it's a general reading. We come into April, May, June. What I'm kind of seeing here is it's, it can be attributed to the environment you're in, whatever you consider your environment or your home to be. Usually the Four of Wands in reverse to me is some place where you definitely don't want to put down roots, some place you don't want to stay. And the reason why is just because it feels icky. That's my it feels icky card. Um, like things are unstable. People aren't welcoming you, aren't very welcoming in this environment. Um, it's really tense. There isn't any harmony. You just don't like being there. I see you during this period of time trying to manifest a different, you know, manifest things to be differently within this environment. So you're picturing how things could be, trying to use everything you have available to you to in your power to make it happen so that um, so that things don't stay the same way. Um, and, and some of for some of you can even be trying to, um, you know, manifest. No, it's not. Never mind. I don't know. I, I had a, okay. I'll just come say it for, for most of you. Um, manifest yourselves being the boss. So manifesting a promotion or something like that, because if I, if I heard it, I should say it, but it just, it just didn't fit in. So there, whoever that's for, that's what that's for. But the thing is during this period of time, you're going to find out that all this icky and everything you're kind of going through, you're going to find out what its grand purpose was. Okay. You needed to go through it. Um, like what's that saying? You need to go through the storm to whatever. That's what I feel like. You need to go through this um, to get a fresh perspective or a different way of looking at things. So even though things are kind of down and not really so great in April, May, June, know that there's going to be a reason for this. It's going to rad radically change how you look at things, how you think about things. It could be a turning point for you. So even though you're trying to manifest things, it's not going the way you want it to go. Um, just tell yourself during this whole period of time in April, May, June, there's a purpose behind it and you'll understand the reason once you come out of it. And hopefully that'll keep you going. July, August, September, you're in some kind of situation where you're either not getting paid enough money, you aren't getting the respect that is due to you, um, you're in some sort of connection and there isn't an equal give and take. Um, it, more so, probably you're doing the giving, the other person is doing the taking. Um, you know, the arrangement that you have in this connection is not being respected. So that's definitely something to look out for. And this could be, again, since it's general, any kind of connection, family, friend, uh, work connection, romantic connection, obviously. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is a lot of ego. Um, I think you're finding this out as you move into October, November, December. You might find out that this connection you have is a connection you have with a narcissist. It may be a connection with somebody who puts themselves first all the time. So hello, that's why the unequal things going on here. And whoever gets hurt, you know, while, while they're, you know, while they're doing their thing, it doesn't matter. Um, they don't care who they run over. They're very selfish. They want what they want. They want it now. Um, 
There also might be some expectations that you might have that are unrealistic that this person's going to change or this person's going to give you what you deserve or what have you. I would take those and throw you out the window, throw those out the window. I don't feel like this person's going to change, but I do feel you're going to discover and see their true colors in October, November, December, which is going to open up um, more solutions for you or possibilities of solutions. Okay. So that's what I have for your 2020. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, send me an email and or click on the Vimeo link below and we'll be pulling clarifiers on this to see uh, what else is going on. Otherwise, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings. Ask me a question on Instinko. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate in the link below. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.